It's been a while since we've been through here, but look at all of the development. Welcome to the Bradford University campus. I know you have not seen this in many years, but the Bradford University campus actually predates the entire building of the entire building of the city of High Street, Kensington. As a matter of fact, there goes building construction over there. Now we're going into the Fundenberg Station. So the station name, Fundenbergs, sits right underneath the, the Bradford University campus. As you see, the changing skylights are off. So what we're going to do is actually turn them on. Now you're probably wondering, well, where are all the signs that the KRTA normally has? Well, this station is actually on the 7 line, which has not been finished under construction yet. try to start. The reason why I'm in this room currently is to actually start the skylights changing colors. This is the breaker room that controls all activity in the skylight. Skylights are on. Now you probably wonder, well, how can you come up with this in my a lot of it is just using structure blocks. Another thing you may also notice is how bright the stations are these days. Yes, lighting improvements has been done. Another new thing that we're trying out is the station agent podium. Station agents are actually subsidiaries of station masters. Station masters run the entire station, while the station agent will carry out tasks on behalf of the station master. Station master. A station master is a person that is put in charge of usually one large station or multiple smaller stations they're responsible for the day-to-day -day operation of the station, including cleanliness, supply, customer service, as well as any additional services the station may perform. This station does not have natural resources unlike the Cherry Street Station or the Blairsville Station. So therefore, the station master here could also take on an additional station if only one was close enough as the same caliber, such as Benter, which is on a different line. So as you see, we came back out again uh, to the Bradford University campus. So as we're walking around Bradford University, we can see a lot more taller buildings. As we cross over Shizzy Hat Avenue to the right and continue northbound on the name of the street is Everett Street. 
you'll see that a lot of the buildings are turning back into downtown buildings. Reason being is because this is actually the edge of the Bradford University campus. Right now we're walking westbound on Jonathan Avenue. Over here is a parking structure for the school as well as just some additional classroom buildings. Down there is actually the main Deaton County Library with the blue dome on top, as well as the Mile High Marketplace, which is a vertical shopping mall. It's a vertical high-end shopping mall. Excuse me for that mistake. Right now we are headed southbound on Hayder Street. As you can see here, this building is in fact under construction. Right now we are at the Blairsville Transit Station, which is also not yet completed. Almost though. As you notice, as you walk into the station, it's a completely different feel. This is the transfer point between the seven and brown trains. Over here you have concession stands, different restaurants. So this is a station where a station master will have a lot more responsibility. This is going to be different offices in the station. This station also comes complete with a police precinct. Now this is a pretty large precinct, however, the KRTA typically never fills up this many cells. People are usually arrested, if they're arrested, by Deaton County Police. Who typically fills these cells up, however, are passengers who are unruly on long haul trains, usually the N5, N4. Many of them will come from the far reaches of the state to nearby stations, and any unruly passengers on board them that has committed crimes in other counties will be brought here instead of Grand Central Hunter College. So this precinct is big enough to do the same work that Grand Central Hunter College is doing. In addition to this also, 
a precinct will be installed at Dortyville, South Ferry, and even North uh, uh, Pole. And Richmond already has a precinct. The reason why precincts are being installed is because the intention is to not bring passengers or arrestees all the way to Grand Central Hunter College for booking and processing. In here will also be a medical clinic for all of the ocean wildlife that is contained within this station. Over here will be another aquarium to contain the station's collection of fish and wildlife. Let's head down to the platform now. It is just awe-inspiring how well this is going to look once all of the fishes and everything come in here. Now I know some of you may have concerns about what would happen if the glass was to crack or shatter. Well, that is not a possibility because it is two feet thick glass wall meant to hold the capacity, twice the capacity of the maximum capacity of the tank. So the only way it could shatter from weight would be if you were to fill this up with water twice, which is physically impossible because the amount of water that can fit in there is half of the capacity of the glass. The only thing that would possibly be at risk of breaking the glass would be a strong enough derailment. You heard that right. A train would most likely have to careen up on the platform in order and hit the glass in order for it to be at risk of breaking. Now if that does happen the water, which it's far enough away from the platform edge, so it should be safe, but stranger things have happened. The water is supposed to automatically drain to a safe level. We don't want to kill all of the wildlife, but also any catastrophic leak will automatically be sucked into the um, county's sewer system. Any water that gets into the wayside area of the station will travel about a hundred feet prior to hitting a slosh pump where that water will then be pumped out. So there is really no danger of the station flooding to lethal levels. However, in the interest of protecting fish and humans, the glass, the filtration system which we're looking at right now is good enough.
here are offices. train station. With that being said, we're going to end the video right now. into what will be a future McDonald's. Have a wonderful